This is an audio test for the Rode Video Micro. We are testing the Rode Video Micro in front of my closet, inside my bedroom that has no audio treatment except for the bed if you count that as an audio treatment. It is important to note that I live beside a busy and noisy street and you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by. And of course you might hear my occasional neighbor shouting down the hallway. I may or may not edit the audio of this video in post-production, so be sure to check the description of the video below. Now, if I edit it, it will just be a bit of boosting, a little bit of noise reduction, so you hear what this microphone really sounds like. I, I already hear a bit of buzzing sound. I think that is coming from my LED lights that I am using for this, um, to light this entire scene because it's quite dark in front of my closet. I think tests like these are very important, especially if you are on the fence for one of these microphones. And the problem is that when you watch or listen to reviews online, the, the problem is you don't get to hear how these microphones sound like in a real life use case because the reviewer often tests these microphones in a well-treated room. That is good for the reviewer because it sounds good but bad for you because you don't get to hear how this microphone sounds like out of the box. Now, I took this out of the box, attached it to my Canon M3, and what you are hearing right now is the raw, quote unquote, the raw audio of this microphone. There you have it, a real life use case for the Rode Video Micro. Amazon links to this microphone can be found in the description below, and I do suggest to please buy this microphone through that link because you are kicking a few cents my way at no extra cost to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, well, just don't give it a thumbs down because I'm trying to f grow this freaking channel. So just give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next review, ha ha ha.